familiar with both of them. The first uh, Monsignor by age is Monsignor Monahan. Monsignor is, is in his 47th year of the priesthood. He has served in several parishes throughout the diocese as an assistant, and he was pastor in St. Mary's Parish in Byron, and the parish church there was uh, constructed while he was the pastor. He was then pastor up in South Beloit of St. Peter's Parish and also the Mission Church of the Holy Spirit in Roscoe. He was pastor of St. Mary's Durand and the Mission Church of St. Patrick in Irish Grove. Monsignor was also, in addition to these important jobs, he was uh, the first director of the diocesan, priest, the, uh, diocesan retreat house, Bishop Lane Retreat House. He was executive uh, editor of the diocesan newspaper for several years. He was director of the permanent diaconate, and he also has been involved in the ministry formation program. While he is retired now for two or three years, he is still very active, assisting a number of parishes in the area on weekends, and also he is uh, the advocate for the Diocesan Marriage Tribunal. Father, uh, now Monsignor, Monsignor Archimedes Vallejo, uh, was ordained in 1989 in the Diocese of Garagoa uh, in, in uh, Colombia. He took his philosophy, philosophy and theology courses in Colombia. He undertook postgraduate work in philosophy and theology, and then went to the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas in Bogota. Following that, he went for further studies at the Holy Cross Pontifical University in Rome. He received a doctorate in canon law at the Gregorian Pontifical University. In addition to being the Episcopal Vicar for Hispanics in the diocese, he is also an auditor judge for the diocesan tribunal. While he is relatively young to be a Monsignor, he is made a Monsignor, I think, because the importance of his job. The Diocese of Rockford has approximately 400,000 Roman Catholics. One quarter of that number, 1,000, 100,000, are uh, of Hispanic origin. And he is very active in going around throughout the diocese in the seven different deaneries and meeting with the priests. There's 12 or 15 priests who are involved in Hispanic uh, ministry. And he meet, meets with them regularly and sisters who are also involved in work of small group uh, leadership and a number of very fine Catholic lay people. It is a difficult task. He is constantly uh, going out of the, the city of Rockford and going to the various deaneries to uh, meet with the people and help them in the, their work of evangelization of the, of the Hispanic people. It is a difficult task, I think, that most of us do not understand because the Hispanic people are varied. We come from different cultures, different nations, and so uh, he has to uh, be a, a balancer, trying to be sure that everybody feels that they are loved, and they are loved by the bishop and by, certainly, Monsignor is a good person to, in this leadership role. So we're very, very proud, I'm sure you people are, that he has been made a Monsignor, and uh, I, I don't think you could have a better leader than himself. Let us stand. Please turn to hymn number 303, found in the back hymnal. All join together by singing our opening hymn, All People That On Earth Do Dwell, hymn number 303.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. My brothers and sisters, we gather here to acknowledge and honor our brothers who have been made members of the papal household. The sacred scriptures remind us that all good gifts come from God who distributes them as he will to build up the body of Christ. Let us listen now to the word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. For by the grace given to me, I tell everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than one ought to think, but to think soberly, each according to the measure of faith that God has apportioned. For as in one body we have many parts, and all the parts do not have the same function. So we, though many, are one body in Christ and individual parts of one another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them. If prophecy in proportion to the faith, if ministry in ministering, if one is a teacher in teaching, if one exhorts in exhortation, if one contributes in generosity, if one is over others with diligence, if one does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. The word of the Lord. The following is the brief by which Monsignor Monaghan and Monsignor Vallejo are elevated to the rank of Monsignor. The Supreme Pontiff, John Paul II, numbers among his chaplains the Reverend Father Thomas Monaghan and the Reverend Father Archimedes Vallejo of the Diocese of Rockford. This dignity is to be signified by both and to both in an opportune manner. From the Vatican on the 6th of December in the year of our Lord 2004. And it is signed by Cardinal Sedano the Secretary of State of His Holiness. We are grateful to His Holiness for having conferred pontifical honors upon these two fine priests of the diocese. Monsignor Monaghan has been for several years a pastor, a teacher, a retreat master, a tribunal advocate and judge, and a zealous priest. In retirement, he continues to serve God in his chosen vocation with profit for the church of this diocese and, we are sure, for his own immortal soul. Monsignor Vallejo has distinguished himself by his self-sacrifice in attending to the needs of the Spanish-speaking community in the diocese, far flung as it is through the 55 
the 5,500 square miles of this diocese covering the 11 northwestern counties of the state of Illinois. As with any apostolate that is diocesan-wide, it requires constant travel, which in these days is not only tedious, but sometimes dangerous. Monsignor Vallejo has done this for several years without stint and is worthy of our praise. He serves the Hispanic community uh, in so many ways that it is difficult to catalog them here, but suffice it to say that his efforts over time warrant the honor which our Holy Father has conferred upon him. is in the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, giver of all good things and bountiful bestower of all graces, we humbly beg you to endow us with the power of your blessing. May it please you to bless by the work of the Holy Spirit these vestments. Kindly let the grace of your holy mysteries descend on these men who are to use them so that they may appear holy, pure, and blameless in your presence and be aided by your mercy. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invest you in the cassock and sash of a chaplain that you may know that you have been numbered among the chaplains to the Supreme Pontiff. You now have all the rights and privileges attached to this rank, as explained in the apostolic letter mentioned in the papal brief. invest you in the cassock and sash of a chaplain, that you may know that you have been numbered among the chaplains to the Supreme Pontiff. You now have all the rights and privileges attached to this rank, 
as explained in the apostolic letter mentioned in the papal brief. Heavenly Father, source of every gift and talent, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you grant us your blessing, that the Church might be nourished and strengthened. Bless Monsignors Monaghan and Vallejo, and confer on them the gifts of your Holy Spirit, that they may remain humble in heart as they continue to serve your Church, and bring us all into the peace of your Kingdom, where all honor and glory are yours, Lord our God, forever. Amen. At this time, we'd like Father Uriel Lopez, the administrator of St. Monica Parish in Carpentersville, to express on behalf of the priests working in Hispanic ministry, on behalf of all of us priests of the diocese, our happiness and joy at what has taken place tonight. Good evening, everyone. I want to uh, first, of course, thank Bishop Dorant for opening up uh, a place for us foreigners in this wonderful Diocese of Rockford for the service of the Spanish-speaking community of this diocese. We are honored in um, the honorific title that is given to Father and Monsignor Archimedes Vallejo. He, of course, deserves it. Uh, we want to thank also Monsignor Mitchell for his hospitality in this uh, parish of uh, St. Bridget. Uh, he has been open to receive Monsignor Vallejo for all these years, so we also want to thank you for that. Y Monsignor Vallejo, queremos expresar el más sincero saludo de felicitaciones. Um, Monsignor Vallejo y yo somos de la misma diócesis de Garagoa en Colombia. Somos amigos por mucho tiempo. Quiero que sepa que no solo los sacerdotes, sino la gente que está aquí presente y toda la gente de la diócesis de Rockford, del de Ministerio Hispano, quiere darle una sincera felicitación. Congratulations, Monsignor. We now welcome Felix Martinez, who is a member of St. Rita's Parish in Aurora. He will express the gratitude of the people, of the lay people of the diocese. Good evening. Your Excellency, Bishop O'Neill, on behalf of the Hispanic community in the Rockford Diocese, I thank our Lord Jesus Christ, our Holy Father, the Pope, John Paul II, and Your Excellency, for naming Father Archimedes Vallejo to lead the Hispanic Apostolate in our diocese. We also thank you for 
bestowing the honor of Monsignor upon Father Vallejo today. This is yet another way in which you have shown your support and understanding of the growing Hispanic population in the Rockford Diocese. Monsignor Vallejo has taken the message of your love and understanding to every community he comes in contact with and each of us is touched deeply by his presence in our diocese. Because of his hard work and dedication, the Hispanic community has grown in knowledge and understanding of Jesus Christ and our mission to be holy, apostolic, and universal church, to be together as a community in one in the Rockford Diocese. Father Vallejo, we're very proud of you. Padre Monseñor Arquimedes, de parte de la comunidad hispana en la diócesis de Rockford, queremos dejarte saber que te queremos mucho, que estamos orgullosos de ti y que estamos aquí para servirte en lo que nos necesites. Que el Señor nos bendiga and may God bless our diocese. Thank you. And on behalf of the Irish people, <laughs> we are very happy to welcome our hand. Aaron Grobra. <laughs> Following the benediction ceremony, we would invite all of you to come over to the parish hall straight across out the front door and there has been some uh, cake and punch and coffee prepared and there's an opportunity to congratulate both Monsignors over there. Thank you again for your attendance here tonight. Please turn to the back page of the, of the Missalette and join in singing, O Saving Victim.
May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us in the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
In gratitude to our Blessed Lady for these two fine priests, we will now turn in our songbooks to number 694 and we'll sing together Salve Regina. 694. Please turn to hymn number 495, found in the back in the back hymnal, and join in singing, Lord, you have come. Hymn number 495. 